For the 2019 GMC Hapton truck, we're going to show you how to install the Frontier Girl Guard on this thing. First thing you're going to do is to remove the tow hooks on the on the thing. You're going to have two 18 millimeter bolts here. One of them's going to go all the way through when you're up underneath there. You're going to remove that bolt there, and then there's one smaller one right there that you got to remove. Once you've removed those bolts, the tow hook's going to slide straight out of your bumper. Once you've got your tow hook out, you're going to have to get up underneath your truck on the bumper and there's this little cap here that's going to come out and then there's this little cap on the back side of your bumper from up underneath you're going to have to get these two little screws right here going to come out and then there's a little clip there and this little piece removes off of there okay once you've got that piece off of there you can get back out in the front side of your truck and you have to notch this bumper in order to get your bracket into the bumper we kind of I tried to outline it with a little bit of white chalk here. I think you can see that on the inside of it I cut right here and then kind of came back down and just feathered it out. And the kind of the same thing. I started at the top right there and you had to come down that inside line and then I just kind of feathered it out and you kind of round it if you want to. We just used a utility knife box blade like that, but you can use whatever you need to use to to cut that out with. Once you've got that cut out, we can come back down here to the truck and I can show you here we've got one bracket on this truck already okay you can see how it, it's got just a little bit of room there but when I put it in there is when you need is really when you needed to have it trimmed out right there the brackets that we use is on this other side here this is it's got four holes in it you're only going to use three holes on one side you're going to have two on one side you're going to have one bolt that's where your tow hook bolts are is where these holes are we actually supply these half by one and three quarter inch bolts. That's what you're going to reuse. So you're going to use two on one side and one on the other, and the other side it's vice versa. That's so we just went ahead and put the four holes so it doesn't matter which side you bend the bracket for. There's also a bottom hole right there, and that one's very critical. That's the one that's going to keep it held straight up against the bottom of the frame for you. And once again, you're going to use one of these half by one and three quarter bolts. When you're putting these in there, when you slide it in, I have not notched this side yet, but um, when you slide it in there and get it in there, it's really, it's, it is tight to get your hand up in there, but this bracket will be laying down just a little bit more. So before you tighten anything, what we do is put these bolts from the inside out, and it makes it a little bit easier. That way your hand's not trying to get all the washers and all that in there. But if you can get that bolt, and you take your hand in there and just put it from the inside out, and then the frame's going to be right here alongside it. Then you can put all your hardware on there. This little washer right here is important too. This bottom bolt right here, this vertical one, you're going to put that washer on, on there and then drop that bolt through there like that. When you do that and then you tighten it up to the bottom of the frame there, because there's going to be a spot, your frame's going to be in there, and there's going to be a um, spot, you put that in there, and there's in the bottom of your frame, it's got a hole going to really support a lot of area right here to hold that frame to that bracket okay and then when you get up underneath and you got all them bolts on there the first thing you're going to do is you're going to tighten this bottom bolt right there tighten that bottom bolt and that sucks it up to the frame and then that's going to put it where it needs to be and then you can tighten these outside bolts like that okay once you've got that bracket on there you got one more bracket like this okay this bracket, and this is the side, you can kind of see too, I didn't mention, you see your bracket angles to the outside of the truck. Make sure you do that so you don't get them mixed up on which side goes where. And this being the driver, it goes to the outside. And you see how this one is here. It goes to the outside too and it goes down. That's how you know which one, this is the driver's side bracket. This is going to go to a little pedestal. This bracket is going to mount to the bottom hole of your bracket. And there's a little pedestal this is going to go to that's got a hole through there and that's where we mount that bracket to there's if you don't have tow hooks which most trucks i've seen do we're going to send this bolt right here and that's what you're going to use on the long side of that pedestal right there but if you do have tow hooks what i recommend doing is is on your tow hooks because you're not going to be able to reuse your tow hooks unfortunately on this one there's not enough room there to get everything in here just take that long tow hook bolt and use that long tow hook bolt and that's what you mount that um, bracket with. 
just do this back bolt first. Don't mount, don't put your bolt in this bracket yet. Do that last when you mount your grill guard up there because this is where your grill guard mounts to and then you can just have this loose. Just have this loose, that way when you put the grill guard on there you can move that around and get all them holes lined up or you're gonna probably have issues if you don't. So, I'm gonna get a picture right here. You can zoom in right here. I'll show you where that back hole is on the truck right here. We, we don't have the center in so you can actually see it better. But you can kind of see right here, you can see that where that bolt goes. There's that little pedestal underneath there and there's a hole that goes all the way through and that bracket's gonna mount to that pedestal right there. As you can see in the picture too, we tried to paint them yellow. But once you've got these two brackets, again, I didn't cut this yet, so I'm not going to, but once you've got those two brackets mounted and you got this bottom one loosely mounted on the back over there, um, then go ahead and tighten. Make sure all them bolts are tightened right there, and then we can hang the grill guard. So we've got the guard up there now. Unfortunately, we had to swap trucks. They needed it back, so I won't go into detail on that. But we got a blue truck here now. Um, these four bolts, there's two bolts right here, and there's two bolts right there. They're gonna go on your bracket. It's a half by one and three quarter bolts. You get them in there, get a guy on each side. You can actually get a jack up underneath each side too. And once you've got them bolts in there, then what I do is I get straight back. I'll back up right here and line the rear view mirror up with the center of that guard. And I'll get down and I'll eyeball and make sure these loops are on the same plane as these, I don't know, the fender, your light, however you wanna look at it. That'll get you up and down side to side, and then I'll take a tape measure and I'll measure from the light, same spot on each side to the loop. Make sure you get the same measurement from side to side. And that's how you get that thing aligned. And then you can go ahead and tighten up your bolts and tighten, make sure all bolts are tight after you get to that point. If you got sensors, which this one right here has got sensors in it, you take the sensors and the factory housing out of the bumper, okay? I've got a little plastic, then you'll have that little hole in your bumper where the housing came out of. I got a little um, rubber grommet that you can do. There's, this is a sensor harness that we actually plug back into the, um, the factory housing or harness on the truck there. These little rubber grommets there you can put over the end right there. And it's got like a little, little groove right there. And you just slip it up there and you can put it in that hole that the factory housing came out of. That way it's just it's on a rubber and it's not on metal and it won't cut through your looming on your um, extension. And then right there, there's a little spot on that thing that you can push down. That's kind of how you take it loose on your factory sensor too. There's a little red clip you pull back and then you push that down and it unplugs. Well, go ahead, and all you gotta do is just go ahead and make the, you, this is the extension because your factory how, or extension is too short. It will not fit, okay? So this is made to just extend it out. And then once you do that, there's gonna be a little extra slack in that um, extension. Just push it inside there and then you can get like a zip tie or something and um, take the slack out of that thing up underneath just so it's not rattling around or anything like that. But once you get all that done, that is gonna be, you know, there, I gotta get up underneath there do that. I'm not seeing it correctly. Feeling it correctly, there you go, snap. Once you got all that done, that should be the final install for your 2019 GMC 1500.